Hello, Mr. Wolf here. Welcome to Art again. I wanted to provide this video as a quick overview of the theme for this week's projects. So right now I'm in Canvas. I'm under the week three module in the lesson intro page. We're talking this week about pop art because I feel that a lot of students really have fun doing this project. So I hope that you do too. We're going to be talking about continuing to practice the creative process by pers how we come up with ideas and how we change them and develop them more into our artwork. I want you to be able to arrange images and maybe even text to, to create your own version of a pop art ad. So we're going to be using a lot of bright colors, repeated patterns of shapes and lines in our art this week. But what is pop art is the first question that I want to address. I offer several different images and definitions and a video. I want you to watch this video. It's about two and a half minutes long. It goes over the very beginnings and also the continuation of pop art as a style, as well as a lot of different examples. Uh, the word pop from that, from that title of pop art relates to the word popular. And in this case, it refers to two definitions of what popular is. It talks about popular in terms of celebrityism what would be easy or also about what is easily recognizable so popular in terms of very easily recognizable by the majority of people so that's the type of artwork we're talking about it's images that relate uh, from popular and mass culture and social media and that that also are found in advertising and comic books and mass produced objects or everyday types of of objects and related to consumerism. It also has images about tele from television, film stars, and pop music. It was very shocking when it first came out in the late 1950s because it was about this idea that maybe an everyday object such as a soup can can be considered art. Andy Walhall brought that to the art world as an idea and it became a very shocking kind of concept originally at first but it developed and it became something different and it has now still continued today keith herring for example developed this idea of very simple kind of figures and uses repeated lines and shapes in his artwork as well to develop his ideas and we also have images from celebrities of celebrities, uh, but they're ultimately recognizable imagery drawn from popular media and products. They're using bright colors, repeated patterns of shapes and lines. So I want you to look over this as a resource of inspiration for what pop art is. Next question relates to how can art be used to advertise an idea? And this is one way because we can advertise like a soup can in our art by just having that be the art and that was kind of the idea behind this one but i also wanted to offer you this video here as a way to introduce you to the career of commercial art which includes advertising and graphic design and branding and logos and posters and illustrations and book covers and cd covers and dvd colors and stuff like that so please watch that as an overview of that as well I also wanted to focus this week on this artist named Melissa Falconer. As you can see with her artwork that she has in her picture, as well as on the left here, some examples of celebrities that she uses in her artwork. She also uses this art style, very bright colors that really draw our attention to it. She considers it to be a black pop art. She hopes to represent people of color in the art industry because she feels that there's a lack of it. And I would agree because she is one that definitely has something to share the world. And we're going to also be talking about what is the creative process as we continue to develop our ideas by thinking about what we like, recognizing our inspirations and defining our concepts and selecting the tools that we use for our artwork. We're going to be making a plan for our art and turning that in separately on the practice assignment. And then we'll be creating our own pop art poster to advertise an ob everyday object. So email me if you have any